Hello, this is the enrichment week on the 8th to the 12th of July. It's an information video for year 8. So presently we have some plans for that particular period. Some of our students have already chosen to go on the Spanish trip with the PE department for the whole week. But we have a range of different options which could include whole week activities or particular days within the enrichment week itself. And we need our students to make those choices. So domestically, there are some trips that we can offer. One is with the art department who have worked out a week's worth of activities and the others with the history department. The art department have already planned their week, which includes a number of workshops and trips through from Monday to Friday. And any students who are interested in art, this is really a really great opportunity for them. You can see there the cost of the week is estimated at this present time £75 and covering a whole range of different activities through the week. Any student who wants to find out more information to talk to Mrs Thompson and we'd have letters that will follow once we know numbers that are interested in this particular activity. Last year the history department did uh, a very similar activity of a full week's worth of uh, history based um, tasks but also trips. We subsidised it last year, so it was only £10 for the whole week. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that again this year. And if any student wants to find out a little bit more, they can talk to Mr. Brown in D8. Now, if the students aren't interested in necessarily doing the full week's activities with art or history, they'll choose a choice, option A, B or C, within school to do for three days. So, for example, if they're interested in PE, they would do sports activities under option A for three days. The other activities are more hands-on with tech and food and community action, or more focused on media, robots and puzzles if it's option C. Alongside that, we have two other domestic one-day trips they can choose to do if they wish to. These do have costs, however. The first one is fishing, where um, Mr. Lovin will hire a boat and the fishing equipment for a day, and the students get a great opportunity to go out and see and catch fish and it's been superb over the number, last number of years when we've done this. Now that's approximately £50, it does depend on whether or how many students choose to do that option. The other one is uh, provided by Mr Richardson who's allow, he's going to take a certain number of students out each day on a hiking adventure um, and if they're interested in doing that it's roughly about £10 depending on the numbers who are interested in doing it. So students will have got a form um, on their class charts homework to complete and they need to put their choices on there. On the back of those choices we'll be able to decide who's doing what and then provide letters for those who are interested in doing the various trips. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions you can always contact the school and ask for me. I'm Mr Ward. Thank you very much.